I dream of the time that women who are powerful, we're caring, we're considerate, we're intelligent, we're forward thinking. Why can't we have that in our wardrobes? Roughly 60% of the global fashion industry is women's wear. So it is true that we buy more clothes. I came into the fashion industry with absolutely zero understanding of supply chains and materials, but I did have a very big question. Why can't fashion be less polluting? And that question I'm still fighting to answer. Uh, for the redress shop, uh, redress has a permanent shop now. So I founded Redress in 2007, which was really at the very start of this wave of awareness, which thankfully has continued to build. The fashion industry causes 10% of global CO2, which is more than air travel and maritime combined. Just finishing and dyeing our textiles causes 20% of industrial water pollution. Hong Kongers have got a sort of a famous reputation for their love of shopping. Now, in Hong Kong, it's estimated that 339 tonnes of textiles enter our landfills every day. And roughly, roughly half of that is thought to be clothing. Redress did a survey that found that roughly a third of Hong Kongers do throw their clothes in the bin. And a third of Hong Kongers have either rarely or never worn some of the clothes that are already hanging in their wardrobe. I've been involved in waste reduction in the fashion industry for 15 or more years. And the reason I fell into this area was because I was working as a journalist and I was writing a lot about environmental pollution. I was really shocked and quite appalled actually that very little back then in 2005-06 was being done to raise awareness about making fashion more sustainable. So here we are at our warehouse in Kwai Hing. This, uh, this is where we, where we store, collect, sort and redistribute clothing that's donated or given to us by Hong Kong citizens. We have a team of volunteers behind me right now sorting clothes that have been put in our collection bins and brought to our warehouse for redistribution. Today we had two tons of clothing brought in and then these boxes get opened by the volunteers and emptied onto these tables. You can see here the volunteers are sorting through them. We inspect each garment one by one. We look at uh, the quality of the garment, the condition of it, the style of it, the size of it, and how it can be used, what material it's made of, to determine where it's gonna go next. If something is wearable, uh, in good wearable condition, it will be either resold or redistributed to a charity partner, or downcycling, or whether it's really destined for landfill. About half of all the boxes that you see on the wall back there will probably be emptied within today. Well, thank you so much for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. As you grow older, you realize that much of our work is to enable the next generation to take over and to do much better. The joy that I get with my work on a very deeply personal level is seeing the next generation grab the issue, find the solution, fight for a better world. And it's actually the next generation that will really, really do it. Women have a much bigger impact on the global economy because we don't just make the decisions for ourselves, but we make them by and large for our families as well. The dream would be that every time you open your wardrobe, you look at all the beautiful things that you bought that had purpose, that had meaning, that had soul, that had style, that really represent who you are as a wholehearted, dynamic, wonderful woman. How do you put that in your wardrobe?